Hey guys, I hope you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shaka and I welcome you to my channel. I welcome you to all my videos. I welcome you to Toronto. It is a park here next to my parents' house. It's beautiful, really serene, really quiet, really peaceful. I really love it here. It's so, I'm so grateful that I have the space to do these videos for you guys. In this video, I want to speak to you guys about dating an INFJ and how I've been kind of noticing for myself specifically, and I think it's a trend as well because I've had a bunch of you guys message me saying the same kind of thing. And so I wanted to share with you guys that I don't think INFJs like it very much when people get sappy around them. Now, I don't know if sappy is the right word. Gushy, mushy, all that stuff. I, I, I don't particularly like it myself. Maybe I'm kind of extending my likes or dislikes to the entire INFJ kingdom but I really do believe that it really is one of the ickiest things to me I am not saying it as um, as a deterrent to all of the male INFJs out there because you know I think people there are there are people out there who love that kind of stuff you know there are people out there who want to be told uh, that their eyes are like the moonlight or or their their legs are like I don't know what <laughs> I'm supposed to be a writer um, but I just I don't understand that kind of stuff because it seems I love poems I love poetic stuff but I, I like poeticness or all that stuff to uh, for the for the for nature or for the seasons or for the birds or for the clouds you know all that stuff deserves poeticness to it because it is beautiful it is ethereal it is out there and it's gorgeous right but when it comes down or comes back to us, comes back to humanity, comes back to um, specifically me as a human being. I know that there is no, there, it, it isn't as ethereal or as beautiful or as as gorgeous as as a, as a tree might be or as, um, as a cloud might be or as a bird, right? It, I don't think the same kind of poetic beauty can apply, in my opinion, just for myself perhaps and for humanity in general can't really apply to human beings specifically compared to all of the other beautiful things out there in the world right and so I've found it for myself specifically that I get actually I start mistrusting a person when they start saying all these sappy mushy things it gives me an icky as I said an icky feeling in my heart in my in my head I start feeling you know I start thinking what are they trying to hide or why are they saying things like that or why are they trying so hard or why are they pushing so hard or what's going on with them what exactly was the reason that they think that i would fall to the ground and kiss their toes or uh, would i be so touched by their words which are meaningless that i would um, kiss them or run across the world to meet them or what is it all about like i actually really i'm not even joking right now i'm actually i get really confused by that stuff and i actually wondered to myself what exactly did this person what was their intention when they said something so sappy? What did they want me to do? What did they want me to say? What did they want from me exactly, right? Perhaps they just wanted appreciation for the usage of their vocabulary. Perhaps they, I, I just needed to tell them, wow, that's a beautiful poem and thank you for sharing that with me. But I always think to myself, you know, words are meaningless. In my opinion, words are the most meaningless things in the world and I know it because I'm a writer myself and I have created, I've spun yarns where I've put all these meaningless words together and created a story, right? Words themselves have no meaning, they have no power, unless you give them power, obviously. And when people put all these words together and then they give them to me as a present, as a pretend gift, I think to myself, where is the action that is behind these words? I want to see action. I don't want to see words. When someone says I love you to me, I, want, I think to myself, those are just words. What have you done to show me love, right? What have you done to show me that you care about me? The same thing with my friendships. You know, when someone tells me, oh, we're really, really good friends, and I think to myself, how have you proven to me that you're a good friend of mine? Can I, can I call you in the middle of the night and say, oh my God, I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere, and will you come pick me up? Is that the kind of friendship we have? In most cases, I can say honestly, no. I don't trust the person enough to pick up the phone or to even get up and come and pick me up and take care of me and make sure that I'm all right. So what is that all about? How does that work out? Where is the action? Where is the solidity or the physicality behind those words? 
because as I said, words to me, especially poetic words, are just meaningless. They're just yarn. They're stories that we tell ourselves. And whenever people start doing that, I, as I said, I, get, I start really wanting to run away from those people because I think to myself, why? What is it exactly that you're trying to do here? And what do you think? I basically think to myself, I, do you think I'm stupid? Like, do you think that I'm sitting here like an idiot waiting to hear all these words from you? No, I did not ask for you to say these words to me. I didn't ask for you to give me these random, meaningless presence of words. I just wanted you to be a friend. I just want you to be a, a friend of mine. I don't need all of this from you. I can tell myself all these beautiful words. Actually, I can go read a book. I don't need those things from you. All, all I need from you is action. I want you to do things. And if you're going to do things, that's awesome. But you don't need to add these meaningless words to the situation in order to make things worse. Because in my opinion, it just makes everything worse. It makes everything fake. It makes everything meaningless. It makes everything into a movie, into a, a TV, into a soap opera. And, and you think to yourself, it's just soap opera. It has no meaning. It has no substance that's the word I'm looking for it has no substance to it. it there's no nothing behind it it's a it's a castle built in the air and there's no foundation under it under it and I think to myself I don't want that I don't want that I want you to build a castle in the air and put really solid foundations underneath or actually don't build castles in the air build them on the ground and then make them really really sturdy and strong and let me see that instead of meaningless substanceless words that mean nothing and they just annoy me. Now, perhaps this is just me. Perhaps there are some INFJs out there that love the sappiness of poetic nonsense and, uh, actually, I shouldn't say nonsense, po poems and things like that. Perhaps there are INFJs out there like that. I'd love to hear from you guys. Do you guys like that? Do you guys like poetic, substanceless stuff? <laughs> Okay, that's the wrong question to ask. Do you like sappiness? Do you like that kind of relationship where you're being mushy with each other and all that? Do you prefer that or do you like more solidity? Or what is your preference in that regard? I'd love to hear from you guys. Perhaps I was a little bit too harsh in this video. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I was just being honest, as I am always. Um, didn't mean any kind of offense to anyone. Hopefully, no one takes offense to that. If you are that kind of person, that's great. We need all different kinds of people on this planet in order to make the planet a diverse, beautiful place. Again, if you guys have any questions at all or any comments or suggestions, message me anytime here in the comments below. Or you can message me um, either at my email or Facebook. All of that is in my description below. So you have all my contact information there. Again, if you guys have any questions, please do ask me. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.